Outrageous. Unsurprising. Surprising. Confusion. Different. Disaster. Wanted to cry. It's amazing. Trump is president. This is not a joke. This is not a meme. This is reality. We're out here on campus getting students opinions on what the hell just happened last night. Americans, you fucked up. There was a lot of we're doomed memes. You know Hillary did some shady shit to fucking leave town. Raise your hand if you dragged yourself to sleep last night because of the election. How did you initially feel when you saw the results? Uh, it was like 4 a.m. And I thought it was a dream. And has that kind of dissipated a bit as the day went on or? Still feels like a dream. Just based on social media, I really did not think he was that prepped to win. I, I've been kind of pro-Trump because I was uh, wanting to see the, the underdog win and I thought that would be like just a crazy result. On one hand, I'm kind of happy because there is a little hope for people to like see change in the institution. Trump was able to tap into that. He claimed he was the anti-establishment candidate. But I'm also very sad because like people of like my race or like people who are like oppressed are feeling very scared about like the comments that he made and if he's actually going to like pursue what he promised to do. Someone who has these very dangerous ideas, very racist, imperialist policies winning is it's incredibly upsetting. A sexually violent man now has like the most powerful job in the world arguably. Yeah his attitude towards women I could be considered morally reprehensible. I, I know he's like targeted a lot of different minority groups but I think just like that's the part that hits home for me. I mean obviously I'm not targeted I'm a Canadian but I am bisexual I am a Latina and I am a woman. It's kind of like a punch to the face. I grew up in Texas and I'm a uh, half Latino and half and half Arab. So I, I, I'm personally affected, I have family that's being affected, you know. In times like these where you see intense racism and bigotry, an anti-LGBT uh, group being elected, I just embrace nihilism because I'm not sure if there's any hope for young people. Donald Trump is a man that thinks climate change is a hoax. He just ran. It's the people chose who they want to choose and that reflects like what their values are and it's actually like really scary. And what do those values say to you? People that are about discrimination, people that want to see the exact same things happening again, the same shootings, the same everything that we've dealt with, and it's just so sad. Even though millennials went out to vote, the older generation is still kind of like built into the, this like kind of xenophobic mindset, and I guess that's a big problem with it. He's gonna have people advising him, like it's a, it's a structured system, he can't just do anything he wants, there's Congress and whatnot. Honestly, hopefully that like the Senate and other um, members of government won't let the things that Trump has talked about in the past go forward. Are there any words of support you'd like to give out to anybody who might be emotionally dismayed or disaffected by this? Yeah, just um, keep moving forward. This was a loss, but it's not the end. It's not going to be bad forever. There are some very real threats of violence, and I think it's important that we, um, we make sure that our friends are safe south of the border. Well, I know that there are a lot of things that Trump said that he wanted to do that are really dangerous for all the people who are minorities in America, especially my friend Caro out there. You just have to stick together and show your support. Riots, um, protests, I know they're happening in the US right now, but if you can stay safe, but also show that we're not going to stand for this, I think that's really the only thing we can do right now.